This summer, nine of us from La Sapienza University in Rome traveled to the US and came here to the City University of New York's Graduate School of Journalism to study television news, American style. We learned about camera work, editing, and most of all, storytelling. And they gave us two weeks to produce our own stories. In our story, what is it really like for a foreigner to get direction from a New Yorker? Are they helpful or do they carry nasty attitudes? Later on, our hidden cameras reveal the truth. But first, we'll take you to the heart of New York, Times Square, where the crossroads of the world have been, well, blocked off. The space once known for traffic jams is now filled with chairs and pedestrians. Yes, Times Square has become a piazza in New York. We spent a few days there and we met some pretty interesting characters. Well, I'm the naked cowboy. Summer in Times Square has never been so fun. Since May 24th, Mayor Bloomberg closed the area to traffic. Green chairs and red coffee tables have now replaced the world famous yellow caps. Now, among skyscrapers and the Broadway lights, there is an oasis for people to relax. Today, a group of people came all the way from New Jersey just to dance. We met them and asked them their impressions. I, I think I it's like great. It. I, I like it. I think we should have done it a long time ago. It encourages people yeah. to, to hang out. And New York City is, is all public transportation. And now at least we get people to mingle and enjoy. And what do you think about the square being closed? Do you like it? Yeah, we love it. I think it's great. Great it idea. The people, the tourists, a chance to sit and really enjoy the center. It really is. It's nice. But there is not only dancing. People also come to have lunch, to read, or just to take a break in the place that many New Yorkers call Bloomberg Beach. I love watching the people and the lights, and it's just too exciting, especially this. And she told me that the mayor is trying to make it a little more European with the outdoor people sitting, so I think it's great. We just love this. What do we do here? Yeah. We look at people. We watch. We watch the women go by. Well, you know, since I don't have to drive into traffic, uh, I don't have a problem with it. But I could see it could be difficult if you have to drive. It's always been difficult to drive in New York uh, with all the one ways and, and the congestion and the people. So it's very difficult. But it's a great space right now. I'm enjoying it. Uh, well, I'm looking my eyes out of my head. So it's, uh, there's a lot to see. Whether this experiment works or not, one thing is sure. Times Square will never be the same. We were hanging out in New York City. Times Square. We're hanging out in New York City. In Times Square. In our next story, we put New Yorkers to the test to see just how difficult it would be for a foreigner to get directions. We set up some hidden cameras in Bryant Park and came up with some fascinating results. They say New Yorkers have a crazy lifestyle. They work so much, they go so fast, they would never stop to pay attention to a traveler in need. Um, excuse me, are you from New York? Yes. May I ask you a question, please? Excuse me, can I ask you a question? Excuse me, excuse me, madam. Can I ask you an information? Are you from New York? So, we pretending to be tourists lost in New York has a way to discover how New Yorkers behave when asked for directions. We started with Cecilia. May I ask you an information, please? Oh, we are in Times Square, okay. Yeah, just go north. Just go out there, straight north. North? Yep, yeah. that way. Um, what you want to do, uh, do you want to walk or take a subway? Um, what you want to do is, this is six, yeah. uh, this is fifth, you can walk down. Six and fifth yeah, is in the middle. Then, to see if it was any difference for a man, we sent Andrea asking for help. I don't, I, don't, I don't know where we are. No, we are in Bryan Park. You are, want to go this way, north. Uh huh. Okay. okay. So actually, you're going to follow me up to Sixth Avenue. I'll, I'll show you where to go. Central Park. You have to go this. The next is Fifth Avenue. Uh huh. You go straight. It's about seven, eight blocks. Seven, eight blocks. Yeah. yeah. 
They say New York is the city of endless contradiction, and we found that to be true. Despite hectic pace of life here, everyone in our experiment was kind and helpful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good time. Thank you. <laughs> you too. <laughs> well, that's our show for now. Thanks for being with us, and until next time, ciao from New York. Hey.